What's up guys, it is Christ and we are back with uh, another Megadeth reaction. Welcome back to Megadeth Monday. I do apologize for this video going up late, but I did have to go to work today, but I got off super early, so I was able to film some reactions for you guys. I'm sorry about not uploading over the uh, weekend. I had some family come over for an extended period of time, and I was not able to record at all whatsoever. So I do apologize for that. You guys will be getting, for those of you that watch for Slipknot, you guys will be getting a couple Slipknot videos today along with Megadeth, and then tomorrow there will be angry reactions like normal. I will have to pre-record them though because I have to work tomorrow. Again, so without further ado, this is going to be Wake Up Dead. This is one that's been requested uh, quite a bit. Now, I do know a little bit about this song. Um, I believe this is about um, a guy cheating on his girlfriend or his wife. And then she, like, stabs him in his sleep or something like that. I do know a little bit about the backstory of the song, but I've never really heard it myself. I've heard, I've had someone explain to me what the song was about. So that's what this song is about, and I'm super excited to get into it. I was not able to find the original song uh, with the lyrics on screen. So unfortunately, this is going to have to be a remaster, and I do apologize for that. I know there's a lot of people that prefer the original version, so rest assured, I will listen to the original version as soon as I am done with this recording. All right, with my rant out of the way, let's go ahead and get started. I like the really ominous sound it's got right here. Now, I believe this is from Pete Sells. Ooh. That's a nice solo. It's a really sick riff right here. Is the rest of this an instrumental? I'm down with that. Hello. Yeah. Excellent solo.
That was a good song, if I do say so myself. Um, so yeah, I'm pretty sure that that was about, uh, I'm pretty sure that I was, I was told uh, the correct thing. That was about uh, him cheating on his girlfriend slash wife or whatever and trying not to let her find out what happened. That's essentially what this song is about. Um, I do think it's a really good song. Musically, it was really good and I loved it. I did like how they just had a little bit of vocals in the intro and at the end. And then they sort of like had this frantic build throughout the song. And uh, it, it sort of like went with the with the uh, the lyrics in, in terms of like trying not to let her find out what happened. Um, I do think that the solos were really good in this song. And I, I'm sorry that I don't know enough about Megadeth. I know a lot of people talk about M M Marty Friedman. But I don't know if he was actually in this song or not. I don't know from what period to what period he was in the band. Uh, but I do know that he's an absolutely amazing guitarist. But I don't know if he was on this song or not. Um, it's kind of hard to tell with Megadeth. I've never really grew up with them. So I'm like just like starting to learn the different members of the band in terms of the drummers and the guitarists. The only really constant I know is Dave Ellefson, I think his name is. And then Dave Mustaine are the only two like constants that I know. In the band, one's a bassist, one's a guitarist, and singer, obviously. So with that out of the way, guys, let's go ahead and rate the song. I definitely think these solos were really good in this. Um, I think that the drums were amazing. I thought the bass was really good. I thought Dave's vocals were a little bit average in this song. Um, but the lyrical the lyrical meaning, I obviously can't support something like that. But it's, uh, it's definitely a more of a frantic song. I definitely thought it was really good. I'm going to go ahead and rate this about a 9. It was not my favorite song, and it was definitely really good, but I wish it was a lot longer than that. So that's really the only complaint I can find about this song, is that it was just too short. By the time the song ended, I was like, that's it? Because I wanted to hear a lot more. And so in this case, being a, a song being too short is a little bit of a detriment to it. So with that out of the way, guys, let me know what you thought. There's going to be another Megadeth reaction up today, as well as a couple of Slipknot videos. Um, if you guys are interested in being in a Q&A, I have that coming up. If you guys want to submit a question, it could be serious, it could be funny, it could be personal, it could be not personal, whatever you guys want to ask. Uh, you could drop it in the comment section and you'll be featured in a video pretty soon. And with that out of the way, guys, uh, if you guys want to see more Megadeth reactions, either live reactions to ones I've already done or different reactions that I have not done, go ahead and drop it in the comment section below. Suggest it. And with that out of the way, guys, I'll see you next time.